Today I learned, when the Nazis burned Sigmund Freud's books he said, what progress we are making. In the Middle Ages they would have burned me. Now, they are content with burning my books. Sigmund Freud, born Sigismund Schlomo Freud, the 6th of May 1856, the 23rd of September 1939, was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysis, a clinical method for treating psychopathology through dialogue between a patient and a psychoanalyst. In founding psychoanalysis, Freud developed therapeutic techniques such as the use of free association and discovered transference, establishing its central role in the analytic process. Freud's redefinition of sexuality to include its infantile forms led him to formulate the Oedipus complex as the central tenet of psychoanalytical theory. His analysis of dreams as wish fulfillments provided him with models for the clinical analysis of symptom formation and the underlying mechanisms of repression. On this basis Freud elaborated his theory of the unconscious and went on to develop a model of psychic structure comprising it, ego and superego. Freud postulated the existence of libido, a sexualized energy with which mental processes and structures are invested and which generates erotic attachments, and a death drive, the source of compulsive repetition, hate, aggression and neurotic guilt. In his later works, Freud developed a wide-ranging interpretation and critique of religion and culture. To the Nazis, Freud's ideas were anathema. Not only were they the work of a Jewish thinker, but they were representative of what the Nazis thought of as the sickness and decadence of the modern world. In January 1933, the Nazi party took control of Germany, and Freud's books were prominent among those they burned and destroyed. Freud remarked to Ernest Jones, what progress we are making. In the Middle Ages they would have burned me. Now, they are content with burning my books. Freud continued to underestimate the growing Nazi threat and remained determined to stay in Vienna, even following the Anschluss of the 13th of March 1938, in which Nazi Germany annexed Austria, and the outbreaks of violent anti-Semitism that ensued. Jones, the then president of the International Psychoanalytical Association, APA, flew into Vienna from London via Prague on the 15th of March determined to get Freud to change his mind and seek exile in Britain. Here's what the editors of TIL had to say about this. The lofty transient the OP adds, however, he might not have escaped without the help of Ernest Jones, the leader of the International Psychoanalytical Association, expediting the 17 work permits he needed to get into London, or funds of Princess Marie Bonaparte to get him out of Germany. We held no replies. As evidenced by the death of his sisters in Treblinka. Anna Freud was also briefly detained by the SS before the immediate family escaped. Forum Lex 7 also replies. Another fun fact about Sigmund Freud is that when he had to sign a statement saying he was not mistreated by the Gestapo before he was allowed to leave, he supposedly facetiously wrote I highly recommend the Gestapo to everyone. Anyway years later after his death they found that form and apparently he didn't write that but just told everyone he did which is even funnier. Lone Eli Zombie 3 with the top comment says I see he is a glass half full kinda guy. Liakim 6 guy replies yeah but the glass is thinking about sex. So there's that. Bo Bobberin responds. Sometimes a glass is just a glass. Unless it's really a cigar. Migato Smi Padre says. That only means we're approaching the era where we burn the people who read the books. Puddleserg replies. Well they do say that humanity progresses from swinging from one extreme to the other. Beriasov says. They weren't content with just that. He was actually on the Nazis kill on sight list for if they occupied the UK. Little did they know by the time the Nazis got around to writing that list he was already dead but still. Too shifty for you jokes. He probably didn't mean to say that, it just slipped. Duslow explains. In 1823, Heinrich Hein wrote the words, Dort wo man Bucke verbrennt, verbrennt man hat gem end mention, or where books are burned, in the end, people will also be burned. More than a century later in 1933, young Nazi students in Germany organized a nationwide book burning to eliminate foreign influence. As this quote eerily predicted, the mass murder of Jews and the Holocaust soon followed. By the way, 
Nazis burned Heinrich Hein's books, too. Raspberry Lipstick says. Even more surprised that he was actually born as C.G. Schlomo Freud. Just how hilarious is that? Almost. Hysterical, am I right? Poem 117 replies. Interesting fact, Shlomo is just the actual Hebrew name for King Solomon before it was corrupted from Hebrew to Latin to English. Kiroi Collins says. Freud's words ring very true. Through the Holocaust that would follow after Freud's words the loss of great Jewish minds was tremendous. So many people that had the potential to do such marvelous things were eradicated. Not to mention so many other innocent lives snuffed out. The world suffered an incredible loss by the Nazi bullies. It's still hard to believe that it only happened just over 70 years ago. Thanks for watching, today I learned by the Reddit King. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications.